Hey, thanks for coming to 1500ESPN.com. I'm Derek Wetmore from Hammond Stadium, where we're wrapping up day two of pitchers and catchers for the Twins. The biggest news out of today was that Irvin Santana threw his first bullpen session as a member of the Twins. Of course, that's not huge news. That was expected. We all thought he was going to throw when the schedule came out for day two. Great. But it is more symbolic in that now he's a member of the Twins. They invested very heavily in their pitching staff this offseason, not only extending Phil Hughes, but also bringing in Urban Santana to the mix. He is going to be a big piece to this rotation, and we asked him about kind of his goals afterwards, and his spring training goals are really as simple as staying healthy. You can't pitch, you can't make the team if you're on the disabled list. That's going to be a big focus for a lot of players here, and Urban Santana is no exception. If he's healthy, if Bill Hughes stays healthy, they start to look like they've got a better top of the rotation than they've had in the past few years. So that's kind of the, the big question for them, I guess. Both of them have a bit of a track record now. You don't wonder if they can get big league hitters out. You just wonder if they'll be healthy by the end of spring training. As I kind of filtered through my own uh, projection for the Twins 25-man roster, what I think it might look like, there were a lot of difficult decisions. And I think that what you find in spring training, a lot of those decisions have a way of making themselves for you. The Twins, I think, are going to find that. Uh, generally, you pick from the healthy guys who are left and who's performing the best, who's got the best track record. Uh, there are some, obviously, wrinkles and nuances to that, go, that go into that decision-making process, but by and large, I think that's that's the biggest factor is health. So anyway, the, the number one thing for Santana, he said, was to stay healthy. He's proven that he can get guys out when he is. Speaking of health, I also spoke just briefly with Byron Buxton today, uh, who just had a nightmare of a season last year. All kinds of injuries, including a finger injury in the Arizona Fall League. He also had a scary collision once he returned to the field from various wrist injuries. I mean, the list just went on and on for Buxton last year. I spoke to him about reporting early, because technically, I don't, I don't believe he has to be here until Friday, as position players report date. He decided to get here early, like a lot of position players have. He said that's just a matter of being so anxious to get back on the field after having missed most of last season and really not getting the plate appearances, the number of plate appearances anyway that he wanted to get. He said not since Little League had he had a season that he had so few plate appearances and it wasn't by any of the Twins doing, it wasn't his own doing, just bad luck from injuries. So that'll be a focus for Bucks in this spring too. Show what he has, but more importantly, to stay healthy. I I'd be shocked to see Buxton break camp with the Twins. I think he's going to start off in the minor leagues, given how many plate appearances he missed last year. But if he can impress a little bit in big league camp and then start the minor league season healthy, that'll be a big step forward for the Twins' top prospect. And that'll be a focus for all of spring training, really, is health. So we'll keep, you monitor, we'll keep monitoring on all of that, and we'll keep you posted as things develop. From day two here, Twins pitchers and catchers, I'm Derek Wetmore. Thanks for coming to 1500ESPN.com. We'll catch you next time.